Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I will be sharing my stories with you all, some will be real happenings and others will be creative. It is up to you to decide which to believe. One day, as Jessica was out on a walk, she stumbled upon a strange object lying on the ground. It was a small, ornate lamp with intricate designs etched into its surface. As she picked it up, she felt a strange energy coursing through her veins. Suddenly, the lamp began to glow, and she heard a voice calling out from within, Who dares to awaken me from my slumber? The voice boomed. Jessica was taken aback, but she couldn't deny the thrill of excitement that coursed through her veins. She hesitated for a moment, wondering if she should respond, but ultimately curiosity got the better of her. I am Jessica, Queen of the Hybrids, she said. Who are you? I am the Jinn, the voice replied, and I have the power to grant you three wishes. Jessica couldn't believe her luck. She had heard stories of the Jinn, but she had never thought she would actually encounter one. She thought for a moment, considering what she should wish for. I wish for the safety and protection of my pack she said finally. As you wish, the djinn replied. Suddenly, Jessica felt a surge of power coursing through her body. She looked around and saw that her pack was surrounded by a glowing shield, protecting them from harm. Thank you, she said. You have two wishes remaining, the djinn reminded her. Jessica thought for a moment, wondering what she should ask for next. But before she could speak, a shadowy figure appeared before her. It was a djinn of the dark, and he had a sinister look in his eyes. Jessica, don't trust him, he warned. The djinn can't be trusted. He always has an ulterior motive. Jessica was taken aback. She had never heard of a djinn of the dark before, but she knew that he spoke the truth. You're lying, the djinn protested. I'm telling the truth, the djinn of the dark insisted. Don't make the same mistake that so many before you have made. Jessica hesitated, unsure of what to do. She didn't know who to trust, but she knew that she couldn't take any chances. I wish for the djinn to leave this world and never return, she said finally. As you wish, the djinn replied, before disappearing in a puff of smoke. Jessica let out a sigh of relief, glad that the danger had passed. But she knew that the djinn of the dark had been right. The djinn couldn't be trusted, and she had to be careful. As she walked back to her pack, she couldn't shake the feeling of unease that lingered within her. She knew that there were always new dangers lurking around every corner, and she had to be ready for anything. But she also knew that she had the strength and power to face whatever challenges lay ahead. With her pack by her side, and the knowledge that she had faced down the gin and come out victorious, she felt unstoppable. The future may hold many dangers, but she was ready to face them head on, whatever they may be. As Jessica and her pack continued to patrol their territory, they heard a deafening roar in the distance. They exchanged worried glances, wondering what could be making such a sound. They followed the noise, which led them to a large clearing. In the center of the clearing stood a massive white dragon, its scales shimmering in the sunlight. It was unlike anything they had ever seen before, and they could feel the power emanating from it. Jessica stepped forward, trying to communicate with the dragon. Who are you? she asked. I am Nessie, the great white dragon the dragon replied in a deep, rumbling voice. Jessica could sense the danger that Nessie posed, but she knew that she couldn't let her fear show. She had to protect her pack, no matter what. What do you want? she asked, trying to keep her voice steady. I seek the one known as the Hybrid Queen, Nessie replied. Jessica's heart skipped a beat. She didn't know how the dragon had heard of her, but she knew that it was bad news. Why do you seek me? she asked. I've come to challenge you, Nessie replied. I'm the most powerful creature in this land, and I will not rest until I have defeated you. Jessica exchanged worried glances with her pack. They knew that they were outmatched, but they also knew that they couldn't back down. Very well, Jessica said, her voice steady. We accept your challenge. Nessie let out another deafening roar, and the battle began. Jessica and her pack fought valiantly, but they were no match for the sheer power of the great white dragon. The fight was intense, and it seemed as though all hope was lost. But then, something strange began to happen. The dragon's scales began to dim, and it began to shrink in size. Soon the dragon had transformed into a human. I am sorry, the human said, looking defeated. I did not mean to cause harm. 
I was cursed to be a dragon until I found someone strong enough to defeat me. Jessica couldn't believe what she was hearing. She had never heard of such a curse before, but she couldn't deny the relief that she felt. We accept your apology, she said, but you must understand that we will defend our territory and our pack at all costs. The human nodded, understanding. I will leave your territory and never return, he said. With that, he disappeared into the distance, leaving Jessica and her pack to contemplate the strange events that had just transpired. As they walked back to their den, Jessica couldn't help but feel a sense of unease. She knew that there were many more challenges ahead and that they had to be ready for anything. But she also knew that with her pack by her side and her own strength and determination, she could face anything that came her way. The future was uncertain, but she was ready to face it head on, no matter what it held. Jessica and her pack had just returned from a successful hunting expedition when they heard a commotion outside their den. They quickly gathered their weapons and went to investigate. As they stepped outside, they saw a massive two-headed lion, its jaws dripping with saliva and its eyes filled with rage. We are the guardians of this territory, Jessica shouted, trying to assert their dominance. The lion let out a deafening roar and charged towards them. The pack braced themselves for the attack, ready to fight for their home and their lives. The battle was fierce, with both sides suffering injuries. However, the lion seemed to be getting the upper hand, with its sheer size and strength proving to be too much for the pack. Just as they were about to be defeated, a lone figure emerged from the shadows. It was a man with a fierce look in his eyes, and he was holding a staff that glowed with an otherworldly light. I am the guardian of the sacred forest, he said in a powerful voice, and I have come to stop this senseless violence. The two-headed lion hesitated for a moment, seeming to recognize the power of the guardian. It slowly backed away, its eyes still fixed on the pack. Jessica and her pack were stunned. They had never seen anything like this before, and they didn't know what to make of the situation. Who are you? Jessica asked, still holding her weapon at the ready. I am the guardian, the man replied. I have been tasked with protecting the sacred forest and all who live within it. I sensed that there was trouble here and I came to investigate. Jessica and her pack exchanged looks, unsure of whether they could trust the guardian, but they knew that they needed all the help they could get. We are the hybrid pack, Jessica said, and we too have been tasked with protecting this territory. We have been under attack from many powerful creatures, and we could use all the help we can get. The Guardian studied them for a moment, seeming to weigh his options. Then he spoke. Very well, he said. I will help you, but on one condition. We must put aside our differences and work together to protect this land. Jessica nodded, relieved to have found an ally in the Guardian. She knew that the road ahead would be difficult, but she also knew that with the Guardian by their side, they could face anything that came their way. Together, the hybrid pack and the Guardian set out to protect their land from all who sought to harm it. The future was uncertain, but they knew that as long as they stood together, they could face whatever came their way.